All right. <laughs> Figured I'd give you guys a little something there. Um, that the music for this game was pretty cool, like that introduction thing, and like Fox starts tapping his toe and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty funny. Um, but uh, now I'm here to talk to you guys about a couple of things today. We're gonna go on normal mode, and I'm gonna show you how to beat Sector X in an easier way. Um, most of you that are probably watching probably know how to do this, but. I figured that I'd do a little old school Star Fox video, a little show too, and all that kind of stuff. So, um, all right, let's go ahead and uh, let's go. Oh yeah, and also we'll be going from Macbeth to Sector Six and getting the medal in there. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start. But the thing is, in order to get there, you're gonna have to uh, go through these arches here in Corn Area. And you're gonna end up getting to Sector Y. From there, you should automatically get the option to get the Katina. Um, you're going to need to go to Katina in order to do this first thing. So what you have to do is you're going to have to destroy all the hatches. And when you destroy the hatches, you're going to have to blow up this core. Because if you do not blow up this core, well, it, those of you that have played or have experienced, what ends up happening is that Billy will not be able to help you since you did not save Katina. But... Honestly, Billy is more of a help than people would think. Um, those of you that probably, if you can't beat Katina, even on the easiest of difficulties, um, it's pretty darn easy to do. It's it's hard not to, to be honest with you. You have to try not to beat the level. Um, the hatches aren't that difficult. The core literally does not take that many bullets to kill. All you have to do is when it when it shows up, turn back around far away and just shoot at it till it's gone. There's nothing special to do. But with uh, but with this, Bill is going to be leaving, but he won't be gone for long because we'll need him in the next level. Um, from here, you will end up going to solar more than likely, um, unless uh, yeah, you'll end up be, you'll end up going to solar. Um, but you have the option to wait for it. You have the option to switch over to sector X, um, and this is how you're going to get to sector Z. And we're going to go ahead and proceed to sector X here. Um, and as you go through this level. Uh, just what you're going to have to do, try not to lose your lasers. If you lose your lasers, you are royally screwed. There's no way you're going to be able to get out of it. Um, it's going to be, I mean, it's a lot harder to lose your lasers, but for sure, um, on Expert, if you're trying to get to Sector Z, I honestly prefer the long, the, the hard route to get to Sector Z, because it's basically given, but if you're trying to get your star, not your star, your metal on Sector Z, I would suggest going this uh, Sector X route. Mainly because if you're going through that way, um, uh, Kat, uh, the woman that you meet on Zonus, her name is Cat, has this obsession with Falco. Uh, it's whatever, I don't know what she sees in him, he's kind of annoying to me, and he's a big douchebag, but, um, but that's okay. We love, uh, we have to love people unconditionally. Um, but, yeah, a uh, cat will ruin your opportunity, she'll blow up all of the, the missiles in order to get your, your metal for the level, and you will just be, you'll be out of luck. So I would suggest going through this level for that. So what you're going to be doing is you're, you're gonna fly through these things, destroy this little butterfly thing, those things are the most annoying thing in this game, straight up, I'd rather fought, I'd rather fight Andros 12 times, and the hardest difficulty with only one laser than have to fight any of those things. Those things suck. Alright, now, um, what you're gonna have to do, yes, you're gonna have to save Peppy as well. And, um, pretty, pretty close up here, the arm will fly out, and you will have to go left. And make sure you get your laser, if you don't have it already, and go left. If you go right, you will not get the warp. This is, and this is pretty obvious. And right up here, your faithful buddy, Bill, shows up, and, oh, nope, he doesn't show up yet, never mind, I lied. Um, you're gonna fly through some of these things, destroy some things, and all that awesome stuff you do in Star Fox, and, uh, make sure, make sure you don't die by these. I'm, I have terrible luck fighting, getting through these things, to be honest. They're just, usually I don't do that well. And then, our faithful companion, Bill, shows up. And what he's going to do, he's not, he doesn't seem like he does much, but what he's going to do, he's going to help you get the warp. And he's going to give you a couple shots at the, at the, at the warp cannon. 
and you're going to have to spaz your uh, a, a finger a lot. But he's going to give you a couple shots at the more harder ones to get through. And I almost missed it right there. And uh, this is the one Billy really helps you with. Uh, the next one actually is the one he helps you with a lot because things are going to be blown up and he's going to make that pretty dark red for you. Because things, are, everything's going to start blowing up over here and he's going to give you a little help. And this is, and this is how he will help you out and then once you do, you end up going through the warp. And in the middle of the warp, you'll be fighting, you'll be going through this altar level or some sort of other dimension level. Um, honestly, uh, I mean, if you're trying to get the star, this helps you a lot. And not the star, I keep saying star. This will get you the medal pretty easily. Um, yeah, it's the easiest way, if you ever have the option, there's the option in Asteroid, the Asteroid level. And if you get all the... Uh, the, the hyper circles or whatever they are and you go through all of them you're going through a hyper tunnel that's the only way you can get the metal in that level um, but I'm not going over that one right now and literally what I'm trying to do at this point I'm trying to get through this as fast as I can I probably should have stopped the video a little earlier but that's okay I figured I'd just go blast through this really quick um, I can start introducing the next level uh, while I while I'm doing this here um, also oh yeah something I also wanted to mention um, when um, when going through on this side, uh, trying to get through to Sector uh, X, um, Billy will not be an option going through the easy route. Um, you have to go through Katina. That is the only way you can get Billy's help. Um, Billy's help doesn't seem to be that much, but to be honest, if you don't have a good spaz finger or you missed out on some lasers or you're just out of luck, um, it'll save you some R-wings that you don't have to waste just trying to get this to work. Billy will more than likely help you get it the first time. And here we go, finally finished with the level. Alright, and that is how you get to Sector Z. Um, now, what I, what's going to end up happening is instead of going to uh, Titana or Macbeth, um, actually no, you don't go to Macbeth from here, you go straight to Titana. Um, instead of going there, you will end up going to Sector Z, that'll be your second option. Um, as you can tell, I'm going to make that uh, make that apparent that you can only go to Titana at this point, you cannot go to Macbeth, which is sad. Because there's the warp, the green that is the warp, and you will end up going to Macbeth from Solar. That is the only way to get there. And here we are at Macbeth. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to go through Macbeth, and we're going to try to get your medal here, and also get make your way to Sector, uh, sector. Um, area 6. Um, if you uh, had some bad luck and you messed it up, this is your way to make it back on the hard path and defeat uh, Venom on the on the hard path uh, difficulty. Honestly, it's really weird and it doesn't make much sense. But going the hard path on Venom is much easier than going through the hard path on easy, the easy path, which honestly makes no sense. Because if you go through the easy path, you expect it to be easy, right? No, you have to go through the temple, destroy all the people, dodge about everything, and the boss in the in the beginning part of of Venom on the easy side, he's pretty hard. The boss before uh, before Andros, um, if you guys know, it's the mechanic mummy. He's he's a jerk to fight, and he throws all these pillars out of the wall, and it makes it really darn hard to complete. But as you know. Um, that's just, I mean, honestly, who wants to do things easier, who wants to do things harder, exactly. So, we're going to, you would prob it's best to actually go through Area 6 in order to beat the game. I would say so. Area 6 is a little more difficult. It's not that, I mean, it's much, I don't know, actually, I'd say maybe the other station actually may be a little harder. But, uh, it's weird how this game works. Actually, a lot of it's just based, based on personal opinion. Um, but, um... Basically, when it comes to this train, I mean, you can blow up the train if you wish, and you want to get some extra points, blows up, blow up as much as you want, it really doesn't matter, because you're not going to be defeating the Macbeth boss here. Um, uh, and I will show that when I when it comes up. I mean, I tried to do this here just to blow it up and get some points, and I missed like a bajillion times, um, just trying to get this to work. And, now oh, there we go, I finally blew it up, and then I get rammed by this rock here, ugh. Dang it, Christian. But that's okay. Um, and yeah, here's here's something pretty cute up here that you guys may not have known. Um, 
if uh, if you go up this way, and normally I would have that tank defeated, and therefore that thing wouldn't be in the way, but what would end up happening is, uh, if the tank isn't in the way and you don't waste half your health, there is that golden ring on the right side, and you will be able to get that if you take that little cheat shortcut that I just did. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, it, it's, a, it's a lot helpful, uh, very helpful if you haven't gotten your three rings yet, is you will definitely be needing them because the main boss will be fighting you, and you will not be attacking him, and that is difficult. You'll have to dodge his, uh, dodge his claws, dodge his hyper beam. Hopefully, usually you will not be fighting, be experiencing the the hawks or the falcon, his hyper beam, um, because you will have um, completed what you have to do in order to get your medal for the level. Alright, starting up here, what you're going to end up uh, doing is that instead of uh, instead of focusing on blowing up things on the train, I mean, if you got the time and you want the points, if you get 100 points by now, you're good. You're flat out good, because um, when getting the medal, doing the only way you can get a medal on this map, you will get 50 points out of doing the way I'm about to show you. Um, it's pretty cool, and it's a lot easier than you would have thought. Right now, if you make a right, well, one, you're going to get a free bomb. Yay, those are awesome. Um, yeah, try not to get smashed by that thing. I've, I tried, and I got that like a million times. But these switches up here, um, most of them are in the open. There are about two of them that are hidden. Like, number three is a little hidden, and num number four is straight up in the open. And you want to hit every single one of these switches. Um, there's, uh, I know there's one here that's not that easy to not that easy to spot. Number five is a little more difficult. Number seven is your real tough one, um, and you will see that coming up. I'm trying to hit the falcon with the missile, and I'm just having a bad time here. Um, and yes, oh, number six, you do have to flip that, uh, flip the door up, and this falcon is just going to be a complete jerk. Typically, he would have had all this, yeah, all these things shot down. And you're going to want to shoot that switch on the left. And uh, doing that, I got caught by accident. But um, I ended up, uh, I got that 8 switch right before I got caught up by the 7. And you want to push that switch. There we go. And then from here, the track is going to switch. And uh, the poor little train man, the train that kept on going, he's going to keep on going all the way home and show his buddies his... The, the fact that, you know, he really didn't do his job. Um, but uh, what's really cool is that with this level, you will get 50 points, automatic, medal, and you will get the medal instantly. You don't have to try much harder than that. You really don't have to try hard with this level. All you have to do is get the switches. Um, and then from here, you're good to go. You got your medal, and you have your opportunity to go to Area 6 right afterwards. All aircraft report. The one interesting thing about this doing this level is that uh, unlike unlike Titana, you don't have this option to go over. If you're at Titana, you automatically go to the other space station. And honestly, that one to me is a little harder. That's the one where you have the force shield, and you have to shut down the force shield, and then you have all these lasers shooting at you, and it's just, on expert at least, I haven't gotten the star yet, the medal yet, on expert. It is pretty hard. Um, and I also suggest that if you're trying to get your medal uh, for Venom, uh, go ahead and go the hard path. It's a lot easier. You will get it before you even fight Andros. Um, because you'll be fighting Star Wolf, you'll be fighting Leon, Pigma, and, oh, I always forget that last one, Andrew. Um, which is Andros's nephew. And from here, there we go. And you have your fantastic medal. And you'll be going to Area 6, taking care of business, and taking care of Andros. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'm glad uh, glad I was able to do this, and I hope that I was able to help you guys out. Uh, have a fantastic day, and as always, stay classy.